Greetings everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with us playing as or with the Gross Deutscher Bund mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalever, of course, or Herr Mokalever, and this is the world as we see it. So, I asked you guys yesterday how we should divide up the states, the land that we took from the war against the commies. And this is how it is. Now, I asked, like, since I, since I already said, I asked you guys yesterday, there's no way I can please everybody. I got comments saying, puppet everybody that you took over. Don't puppet anybody. Make it realistic. Balkanize everything. So, ultimately, I can't appease everybody. But, regardless, at least in the faction, we're looking pretty good. Except that the, the Finns are in the Chinese United Front, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. But here we go. Um, so, let's talk about this post with winning Commonwealth. Someone recommend re actually a few people recommended we don't puppet Belarus or Belarus as well as the Ukraine because they have really ugly borders since they wouldn't have all the territory since Poland does have some of the Ukrainian territory so I'm like okay we'll just give all the Ukrainian Belarusian territory as well as the rest of the Baltics to Poland so they're nice and thick and in exchange I'd say we would have had population transfers between us so we took Nisan, Posen as well as is that it? I think that's it. Oh and also cut the bits. So I also quartered them just because I figured that'd be a population transfer especially as the Poles start probably doing potentially some bad stuff to people around here regardless it makes the borders look so much nicer and also people recommended that i take sedan which is not core by the way west luxembourg as well as nansish nansig so and also sweet as well i just scored that one just because why not so that's the borders uh free france they're actually our puppet which is cool actually they're not a puppet they're a actually i guess they are a puppet because i say that because we had the russian federative or russian federation and they are not a puppet they're a supervised state which means we can't build in them which is really quite sad really quite sad but they're a puppet of us i also give them mongolian because i don't think mongolia should exist in this campaign just because i gave the romanian territory that the ussr held just give it a bulgaria because they actually had cores on it which is really nice uh, of course we have republican italy they're our puppet as well which is good and also, some of you guys recommended that I give or have the British puppet the Portuguese, or at least have them underneath, which is fine. And I try, and I give, you know, Spain to the, the Brits too, but, like, I forced them to release Spain, but it didn't. Like, I forced them to release National Spain or something, and I forced them to release, like, the People's Republic of United Iberia. It, or it just wouldn't work, so that's maybe a little bit bugged, I don't know. So, I tried that, but... I guess UK owns Spain now, and here's Africa. As you can see, I gave the UK a lot of territory. I don't want to give them all of Africa. That might just be a bit too much. Also gave the UK a lot of the islands around here too. Um, so I decided to take the French part and the Spanish part of Africa up here, just because we could have had like different little splotches around here. And you know, I also had to consider border gore as well, because you know this looks so much better than having little splotches of gray and pinkish all around here. That would not have been fun. So I figured, you know what? We're gonna make. Morocco or Casablanca or Marrakesh really really nice and German so I think this works out pretty nicely for us I mean obviously the borders aren't great but you know it is what it is uh, but yeah this looks not too bad and even though these are French and French colonies and such and they're supposed to technically be Kenya it's supposed to be ours but whatever it doesn't really matter I don't think they'll fight it too much I also gave the UK Southeast Asia or uh, French Southeast Asia so I don't really care I gave them some of the islands too, just because I wanted to balance it out a little bit more. I think the Brits made out really, really well. They also took Syria and the Levant. Well, they already had the Levant, but, uh, you know, Lebanon and such. So, other than that, not too much has happened. We still have the Dutch here. Now, we, I guess technically we could have potentially, if we really, really forced it, realized European unity, but I don't own Dutch states, so that probably would have been impossible. They're not a puppet. Uh, they're, not, they're just an ally. They're not my puppet, so it is what it is. We can't really do that. But I've already gone ahead and done close air support in which we must invest in deadly planes that can deliver precise strikes on small military targets and personnel to suppress them and alleviate pressure from our front lines, which would do the eagle from the ashes. We have endured, we are not only alive, but we have prevailed in the face of annihilation. What started as an idea has now become a reality. Germany is more united than ever before. We are truly one people. We no longer need the fl many flags of the boon, but one central flag and joined name, which is good. Let's see. Someone asks if I'll play with the other side, the European Dream next. Pursue the European Dream. I think I'll give it a little, bit, a few campaigns between this ups, this campaign and the next one, just because. Oh no, I, I, I want to take a break and try out some other mods out as well. Let's see. Yeah, I talk, already talked about it. people who want me to puppet, don't puppet, balkanize and such. Uh, someone recommends I try out the 70% capture ratio mod that makes uh, the base capture ratio higher when you take out enemy equipment and such. So I mean, we could try it sometime. I don't mind that. I I have not heard of that yet, but. You try it. And also, I do want to go to China because China is uh, naturally German clay, as we all know from history books. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, Raz, want to give us stuff. Cool. And also, we're out of some materials, especially motorized, I guess, huh? 
All right, not bad. Um, oh, yeah. Well, people are all going to be called in, which is fine. Not too worried about that. Actually, calling the Raj, which they're still trying to quit India, so it is what it is. Uh, other comments. Yes, Rommel right now. Rommel. Which one's Rommel? I can't remember which one Rommel is. Oh, no. Oh, there's Rommel. Yeah, he's an infantry leader. Even though, technically, as someone did point out in the comments, that each of our divisions do have, or at least should eventually, will have some armor. So, literally, each division will have armor on them, so... Oh, wait, are we with the Japanese? Oh, I should not have accepted that. Whoopsie. Oh, well, I gave our guys enough time to fix this up, so not too bad. Military advisors recall deteriorating relations with China has made it politically unfeasible to maintain a military mission in their country. Alexander von Falkhausen and the rest of our advisors have been recalled. All right, whatever. Uh, maybe we should stop training you guys then. Make it some subs. Not too bad. Uh, you guys head up here. Uh, I'll leave you guys to do whatever you want. I need you guys, though, to do this and do, like, this area. Oh, sure. Sure. And America wants to join the faction. Sure. Underfilled import request. Well, that sucks. All right. A little bit of lag, but whatever. I'm going to train the rest of our Navy, too, because we need more naval XP. Uh, take Sutro, which I did. Plays Romania in the New Ways mod. In Kaiser Redux, or in the name of the Tsar mod. Well, I'll play as Romania sometime. I'm, I can't guarantee when, but eventually. Oh, yeah, let's call them the Germans. Uh, not the Germans. We are the Germans. Call in the Americans. Balkanize as much as possible. And do I play to the peace conferences on? Yes, I do. Uh, are you guys in the war? Sorry, son. You can't say no. Um... You sh Oh, these guys are in the war. No, they're not. It sucks. Whatever. Yeah, we gotta fight these guys too, which is probably a bad thing for us. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I did already play a deploy a lot of planes elsewhere, so that's why we don't have a lot of planes here. Actually, how about naval bombers? My goal was taking out China and Japan. I should not have accepted that call to arms, but whatever. Whatever. Defense. We got a little bit of this. Let's grab some more naval stuff or air, technically air XP stuff, air doctrine stuff. Uh, looks like our allies are really pushing in there, though. That's not too bad. Uh, no, 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 no. So we're fighting China too, right? Yeah, just China, Yunnan, and Communist China. Uh, Yunnan. Oh, they're getting eaten up, which is nice. Got some better artillery. Let's grab even better artillery. That'd be nice. Oh boy. Nice. Some convoy stuff too. That's nice. Oh, the American ships are here too. Oh, I love it. How did you get already get encircled? What the heck? Cancel Lunleys? What are we missing besides planes? Probably naval bombers. Makes sense. Do I have naval bombers? Anti-airs there. Gorillas air support. Carrier fighters. No, we don't have any naval bombers yet, huh? Alright, well, let's do that. And let's do that. And let's do this, too. As much as I want to build up more, you know, refineries and such. Naval bombers going to be a little bit important. As well as a little bit more fuel. This much I'll imagine a line and by the Netherlands. Well, they're already in with us, so not sure if I can really do that. I really care to do that. Weapons for the Malaysian resistance. Nation building in Free France. Oh. Well, that's not good. Wow, we lost six subs. Holy cow. More subs then. Donuts, don't lose your subs as much. Torpedo. Just chuck torpedoes at them. I know these guys have got awful range, but they'll be upgraded eventually. Cool. Um, wow, that's a big old fleet now, ain't that? Wow. Wowzes. Please don't lose more subs. Hey, you sunk a con, boy, that's nice. You know I'm gone. Better engineering companies. Let's come back over here and do some naval stuff, sub stuff. That'd be probably pretty good. Uh, let's see. Oh, Bulgarians. That's not good. Not bad. Steiner, do you have anything for us? No? Okay, then. Okay. How many more subs have we lost? No, we sunk that one convoy. Stop losing subs. Donuts. Donuts. 
Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. But yeah, I'll play this mod again. Definitely going down the European Dream sometime. Can't promise when, though. Just can't promise when. Uh, I really wish I could build it in the USSR's territory. Or really, Russian Soviet Federal was... Fe Russian Federation. That's what it was, yeah. Germany Reborn! What was once... Many is now one, reforged by the fires of war. Our spirit is unbroken and our ambitions are fulfilled. We should celebrate this by creating a new national unity holiday, Tag der Deutschen Einheit. Whatever lies on the horizon is now within our reach for a greater tomorrow. We will be known as United Germany. Oh, that's cool. More political power, one every day. Wow. Do we change our flag? Ah, not just normal Germany. And we'll do the natural borders of Germany. Napoleon once called the Rhine River the natural border between France and Germany. We perceive the Mosel and Meuse River to be our natural border. The future Germany and that of Europe rests on our shoulders. We don't really need anyone else, but it is always good to have some friends. In us and our allies, we can trust to turn a promising future into a good reality. Oh, I don't want to lose any more guys. Joachim? 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 I don't know. Alright, let's throw another sub so it gets blown up. There you go. You go right there. You go do that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good luck. Oh, Durance is learning a lot. Oh, do we have more divisions or something? Oh, Panzer's yes, Nice. Oh, that sucks. That's an early pans uh, early sub, I mean. That's not the worst thing that could have happened. Uh, how are we doing with all this war, war stuff? Oh, we're just moving into China. China. If that's a case, I'm going to go search to find on these. Oh, I can't trust to find them. How's Finland doing? I hate the Finns, man. They refuse to do anything, and I hate being a democracy where we can't do anything. Oh. So bad. That's what, man. So bad. <sighs> we get any air XP? Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah. Come on, Durnus. Learn more. Learn more. Oh, there goes the sector for Japan. Not bad. Up next, we can do some cryptology of what? No one else? Gonji click? Yes? No? Maybe so? Oh, look at that. Nice. We're actually sinking some, sinking some convoys. Okay, the, the Turks joined. Oh, I was not expecting that. Or, they say they did, but... Okay. Very weird. They didn't actually join, but they say they did. Alright, well, whatever. Whatever. A Bulgaria approaches the UK. Well, I think they already did join us, didn't they? If I can Chongqing, that'd be okay with me. Get some invisible ink as well. Keep building, building, building. Yeah, Chinese. I'm sorry, Chinese, but this is rifle German clay, as we all know through history books. Um, anything else down here that we really need to be aware of? Natural borders of Germany are great. We'll do... Oh. Oh, super heavy battery poles, the sink branches, alpine legacy, chromium furnaces? Why not? Our heavily armored ships and heavily armored tanks can be, can't be built without chromium. If we get cut off from our suppliers, then we'll find ourselves in a very bad position. I guess I was getting stuff from them, huh? Supplies probably just got to be god-awful here. And we have a lot of Americans moving around here. Hopefully the American fleet's around here, because I think these guys still got a bunch of oil, first of all. But a bunch of ships. Wow. Five carriers. Well, we can actually see five carriers, six battleships, six, three battlecruisers. Not bad. Of course, I do need my fleet over here. But then again, I need more than just my fleet. I need... To stop losing subs, first of all. I need more planes. Interwar fighters are nice and all, but that's just not enough. Oh, there goes China. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do fade and fade out for this stuff. Uh, I still want more planes. Carrier naval bombers are okay. God dang it. Fine. Alright. Uh, ooh, that's pretty low score. You know what? I'm going to do this anyways off screen. Well, everyone, now Mexico wants to join our faction. FDR sponsored a request from Mexico for entry into the European Vanguard, whether Mexico seeks mutual protection or foreign expansion is unknown. But Mexico's oil is a lucrative asset to have on our side. Yeah, that's right. We want Mexicans in our faction. Not for the Mexicans themselves, apparently. But for Mexican oil. Welcome aboard to the... Very European vanguard, Mexico. At least we have all of North America uh, with us, but I basically just gave ourselves this part of China. China. And gave the rest of it to Japan, so now we're trying to beat them up. That is what it is. We're trying to have a good time. We're struggling here a little bit, but... 
I'm really not too worried about that. Also, we got some more focuses to do. We did do the Natural Borders of Germany. We've done the Coronium Furnaces. Let's do Secret Service. We should expand Abteilung Dreibe into a fully-fledged department with proper funding, staff, and guidances or guidelines capable of aiding any war efforts as well as internal and external affairs. So that we can build things faster. Oh, and we got some research done as well. Don't mind if we do. Let's grab some guns as well as some Panzerfausts. Lovely. Please don't lose any more subs. What did I just say, Dernitz? Dernitz, Daddy. Daddy Dernitz. Come on, man. Uh, Subarinos, Subby Boys. Oh, I guess we lost another one here. I did put one over here, and then I guess they all died, huh? Well, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Throw them over there. Thank you. Do we lose any more? No, we actually sunk a convoy. Nice job. Now keep it up, and stop losing boys. Oh, uh, that's a case. You know what? Actually, I'm going to make this a little smaller. Just so we have a little bit more concentrated force around here. So, Oh, man, Guko is gone. Hold so you don't die. Actually, just trying to attack into enemy lines. We lost another sub. Actually, we lost an American t task force, too, huh? All right, well, whatever. Good luck. And actually, uh, go ahead and do it at low risk. I'm tired of losing subs here. Oh, and look at that lag. Oh, my goodness. Also, off screen, I wanted to go get a cup of coffee, too, because I'm totally not an addict of caffeine. Totally not. Totally. I mean, overall, I mean, we have air superiority here, but just not very good for us. The main goal is pretty much for me to just, like, hurt their convoys as much as possible, which actually might do better down here. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that instead. So, instead of doing this area, what if we did this area? Especially with their Japanese ships around here. Now, they could probably still expand throughout here. You know, I'll do that too. Why not? Cannons? Let's grab some better anti-air, because we can. That might be better, yeah. Let's do some of that. Let's do some of this. Let's go ahead and keep building up our roads down in China. And which actually we've expe we oh, expanded out a little bit. Nice. And we still can't fight these guys, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, my goal is to just get rid of all the convoys as best as possible. we got some tanks as well. And we've got the Secret Service. Please don't shoot anybody, please. Alright, anyways. Covert operations. Follow the land security. Uh, let's see. Ooh. That hurts our consumer goods factories. And hurts our consumer goods factories. Let's into my stuff. Cryptology department, not bad. Master plan. Hi, more analysis. I want to do fatherland security. So, we must focus on internal affairs and ensure the stability of our fatherland from malicious intentions and the many threats we face. Which I think overall is a little better. That makes more sense since we do, we are focused on the fatherland a little bit more. Because we are a united Germany. We have the Kaiser back, so I think that's probably for the best. Um, I kind of wish we could edit these a little bit more. Like this state, like Ansi. Ansi? Ansi? That, like, we could, like, take this little territory so, so we're rounded out a little bit nicer i mean don't get me wrong the devs did a great job with it but i just wish it was a little nicer uh bounty program we should establish offices across the country where people can report suspicious activity additionally we should set up funds to reward successful reports or foreign elements that want to swap sides oh yes let's keep doing some naval doctrine stuff that'll be very nice to do thank you and please stop dying in the water but good job with the convoy rating so far now if we sent our navy down there our actual regular you know Carriers and ships like, oh, battle cruiser! Look at that, the Bismarck. They probably all end up dying. Then again, what else is new? Heavy ship hull C, huh? That is not god awful. It's not great, especially with one armor, but it's not god awful. Some more of this? Why not? At this point, I'm just kind of waiting. Uh, actually, just for all you guys, just train. I don't care, just train all of you guys. Just train because we want to grab as much naval XP as possible right now. And trying to seek as many... Co oh, wow, that's a lot of guys. Um, the problem with this is just that we don't have, like, enough air. Enough planes, really. I should make more planes, more naval bombers. Which would help out. We're, we only have 400 some factories, though, which is not great. It's okay. It's just not great. And obviously these planes aren't that great, but, you know, it, it is what it is, you know? So keep learning, Daddy Darnitz. You're going to need it. Come on. Are you done yet? You done yet? Come on. Come on. God dang it. All right. And then we'll do some of this. Tactical bomb strategic range stuff. Who cares? Keep going at it. Uh, sure. Against those three? Yeah, that's fine with me. I don't really care. And cryptology. Oh, a little bit of lag. Go ahead and let's do 
some machine assisted encryption. We got a lot of political power. Actually, now we can go ahead and integrate Sedan. I'm not sure why it's 26 political power, but hey, whatever. Get a core on it. And then we get a core. Wow, look at our guys. Great Luxembourg. Nice. That costs a very odd amount of political power, but hey, whatever. Alright, so since you guys are here, we're going to go ahead and try to infiltrate Nippon. Thank you. We got a lot of information about Nippon. Anything else? I mean, we pretty much hit every major state. You can go right there, too. Like, we should be getting a bunch of intelligence on those guys now. Ooh. Oh, wow, look at that. The British are here, too, trying to help us out. They lost quite a few ships compared to the enemies, but hey, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That's all I can say, just that's not good. How many men have we lost? We probably lost, well, we lost quite a few guys, actually. Uh, we haven't killed that many enemies, but uh, actually, we've, we've come, cared, killed off roughly about an equal amount between us. Uh, that's not bad. Cryptology department, though. We should make additional funds available to ensure that our messages are secure and that no one will be able to take advantage of them. Improve the Enigma will be our first priority. We got this done. Great. It's almost 43. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this because we can. And makes our guys a little harder, which we, we do appreciate. Okay, so you guys, you're attacking like crazy. I'm telling you to hold. Because your organization's probably god awful. And you just don't have enough supply. So. And at the same time, go and do this too. And maybe get some air supplies too. There you go. Pounds of Fausts. Not bad. Let's come over here and. Uh, well. Uh, we could do some naval stuff. We do need to get that super heavy battleship hull, so. There we go. Hey, you know, the convoy's good. Good on ya. These guys are stuck over there, which is fine with me. Two days left with improved anti-air. Uh, we'll probably get even better anti-air next. Thank you. So just kind of hang out. Relax. What are you lacking? Just... Huh. Doesn't look good. <laughs> Doesn't really look good, now, does it? But hey, at least we're down here. We're doing okay. Now, America. If you would be so kind as to uh, maybe try and attack somewhere here. Do we actually attack here, maybe? Yes, no, maybe so, yes. That'd be very nice. Are we winning? Are you winning, son? Well, you're holding for now. At least that's good. Now, this is a problem without having... I really should not have made the Russian Federation a supervised state. Really, really bad. Really bad. Because I can't build. I need to build in their areas. So They haven't really lost many ships. They don't have that many factories, 150. They got a couple convoys, but we're not sinking enough of them fast enough. Alright, at this point, I need an area that we can be safe and have enough air coverage. I'm thinking the Philippines might be it. Because I want to destroy the ships. That's the, main, the most important thing that we can do right now, is to destroy the enemy's ships. Now we don't have enough... Oh, I keep saying that, but I don't make enough naval bombers. Like, what's wrong with me? No, oh, don't answer that. You know what? Closer support, you can do that, right? We don't really have good range, but uh, here we go. Alright, so actually we do are, we are making some naval bombers. It's not bad. Mm, we need way more motorized though. Wow. Machine assist encryption, go and do some of that stuff. Yeah, we've got to build those roads, by the same time we gotta build ourselves up some more too. Alright, so we'll build, we'll build more stuff, which is nice, which is good. And our allies are doing relatively well, like pushing in, and I guess I guess we are pushing in as well, I suppose, too. Uh, cryptology department, though, and hire more analysis. If we want to protect our country from outside influence, we must be able to intercept their secret messages and decrypt them. Let's hire more mathematicians and cryptologists for this cause. That's looking a little, a little nicer. I like syncing their stuff. And for the love of God, darn it, please learn. Please learn more. It's always good to learn, which I really need to take my own advice sometimes, too. Oh, there you go. Uh, how is this looking? Ah, oh, it's only one out of That's not bad. Hey. And hopefully America is island hopping. Oh, for the love of God, I hope they are. Level 8 attack, not bad. Cruiser captain. He's a fly... He's a fly swatter, wow. That's something I would not expect from Dernitz, but okay. Search... Actually, that's not bad. Spotting speed, but he only has two more things here. Um... Actually, I should... Actually, maybe I should have gone with Silent Hunter. And I would still be able to get us this way. Yeah, actually, maybe Lancer's not as worth it. Silent Hunter, then Torpedo Expert, as well as Loading Drill Master. That's probably better. Cruiser Captain's not bad, but we don't... That'd be kind of a waste. Spotting speed would be good to have, though. Ooh. Hmm. Nukes. Might as well go for nukes, right? Oh, come on. There you go. Alright. Hey, Ventrico's gone. Good job, guys. Why is that... Why did that go to Bulgaria, though? What the heck? 
We could use more dockyards too. Oh my goodness. I mean, eventually we're going to get down there. Eventually. You guys are still hanging out. Ah, you're mostly renewed. Are you... Oh, that's a really bad idea, probably. Can you actually do this? And let's actually use the Cypher, then. Intervention in the... Well, they're already in the faction. Oh, what are you guys doing? You're doing nothing up there, huh? How about y'all come down here and take these guys out? That'd make too much sense. Nice, keep seeking them convoys. Very good, very good. Oh, are they actually attacking us here? Huh. Oh, for the love of God, please, America. Are you you're not island hopping, are you? At least you didn't lose well, I guess Mexicans are guarding Pearl Harbor too. Are those Mexicans or yeah, there are Mexicans. Cool. Good good job, Mexicans. We appreciate your service to America. Oh, okay, we're cleaning them up. Nice. See, building roads. It'd be so helpful. Actually, I've, I'll be honest, like, off-screen, not not earlier, but, like, as I was creating up, like, factions, or not factions, but dividing up the Russian lands, or just, you know, puppeting them, I actually forced the Russians to build infrastructure here, because I'm not going to deal with bad infrastructure. So that's why, uh, actually, at least Mongolia is 10 out of 10, so. Wolf packs, thank you. Improved anti-air. That's 43. Happy 43, everyone. Help. Let's get some more anti, uh, get some of that stuff. Cool. Uh, distinct branches. We should su uh, support the creation of su special force branches that will focus on developing new techniques. Yes, please. Yeah, very much so. Another tank that we're not even using? Okay. Fine with me. Not bad. Alright, looks like we're doing relatively okay. Just, we gotta push them back. Destroy everything they've got. You know. Just, you know, normal things. And who's over here? Hold on. Not as lined as well as you could be. And you guys are still around, well, Finland doing nothing. Uh, you guys are hanging out here. It's not bad. Anything else? Oh, look. We're, we're sinking more stuff, which is actually nice. Even through their, like, capital ships, we're doing relatively okay. Sometimes I skip through this just so that we can get to an invasion of Japan quicker. But sometimes I do want to show you, like, what I'm actually doing in terms of campaigns. We got another carrier. Look at that. Beautiful. Exactly what we wanted. Train, 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 train. The Europa carrier. Not the Adler, or like in uh, you know, hmm. not yet, not yet. Fighters. Ah, there we go. Nice. I love that stuff. Forty-three. Let's grab some more output, perhaps. You know, let's grab more construction speed first. All right. So at this point, hopefully we have enough planes around here that maybe it'll be okay. So stop doing that. Go and do that. Look at all that lag. Go ahead and repair, and I'm going to put them all in the South China Sea. Yay. Oh, are you guys going to... Hmm. There you go. Oh, what do we have around here? Infiltrate the civilian administration. Well, we kind of already know a lot about them, even though without doing too much. It looks like they haven't really lost too many convoys. What else they got? Up to 125 divisions, not bad. Ooh, yes, please. Oh, we've, we're doing pretty well, I'd say. Um, stockpile, I'm sure they got... They don't have that much infantry equipment. Oh, hello. What happened? Yeah, they... Oh, we can... We know even more about specifically what type of guns they have. Yeah, they don't have a lot of infantry equipment, which is kind of nice. Over here, 232 ships. Um, America, please tell me you don't have that many... You have that many ships. Please tell me... I can't click on America for some reason. What's going on with the game? Distinct branches are nice. Eh, they're about roughly equal. In terms of ship count, at least. So after this, let's go ahead and do... Uh, Stolz des Bundes. Our Bund needs a modern pride of the fleet, a masterpiece of ingenuity, and a symbol of our new strength. We should prepare extra resources to make this giant project possible. Yes. Alright, so you guys, looking good. John, she's done. You all, just don't die in the water, please. Not too much. All right, looks like you guys are pretty much good. And repairing? Don't really care. There you go. Good luck. 75 ships, 77 ships, whatever amount it is. Boim? Boim? Just please, don't die. 
Don't lose, especially the capital ships. Screens, you know, they're expendable, some might say. Uh, for you, you're almost an iron, iron side, huh? Which would be great, but I need you to be a sea wolf. So this is all kind of useless for us, except maybe for chance to receive critical strikes. Especially Crest's magician would not be bad. Ooh, chance to score critical hits would not be bad either with torpedoes, as, as far as I remember. So, hey, we almost linked up here too. Nice, nice job, guys. Hey, we're in Korea now. Love it. Now, no one's trying to invade them yet, which is a little disappointing, but that's all right. Things happen. Get them more carrier organization. That's good. Oh, we actually have sunk a finger there. I'm surprised no one's trying to do stuff around here. What's going on? Uh, destroy yourself. Oh, boy. What's going on here? Sunk some stuff. Uh, the Japanese fleet is definitely here. Who knew that the German-Japanese war could involve us heading out here? And you can tell it's pretty laggy. You guys, please don't lose your ships, please. There you go. Where are they at? Uh, they're in the Arabian Gulf. That Zaf Greplin's looking not too bad. Oh, what is going on? The last couple planes. They have they have some seriously. We could lose our fleet here, which would be very very bad for us. In the meantime, maybe we should help the ground attack here in uh, Philippines. Oh, are we getting invaded? Where are we getting invaded? Philippine Sea. Um. Oh. Oh, they really. Oh. Oh crap! What's going on? Uh, no. First of all, no. I said no. Oh, that's not good. Something was seriously going on there. On there, I don't like that. Uh, that's good. Oh, oh! They actually sunk our stuff! Holy cow! The Japanese fleet is already over there! Whoa! Luckily that stuff is probably all garbage, but that's okay. Um, wow, I was not expecting that. I mean, the pride, we lost the Pride of Fleet. That really probably hurt us a little bit there. Um, that's not good. Hmm. Please don't die. Ah, they're sinking, starting to sink some stuff, too. Sink the destroyers. Show them who's boss. Oh, at least we got some of our other battleships here. Oh, man. We we didn't even get over here when we started losing ships. So bad. This is where naval combat really comes into play. I mean, yeah, planes are nice and all, but sometimes they just don't have enough range to do anything. Oh, look at this. So we lost a light cruiser and destroyer in exchange for... Nah, that's not really worth it. Oh, boy. But by doing this, hopefully we're doing a lot of damage against the enemies. That's my hope, at least. Level 5. Come on, learn some more. Sunk a destroyer. Not worth much. Sunk another destroyer. Not worth much. Just repair as fast as you possibly can. and Which I think they are. But just other ships have got to be repaired as well. Wow. Oh, it's barely repairing. Sixty-seven. Oh, it's gonna take forever for them to get into the battle. Whoa! Wait, oh, oh God! We even lost another carrier. Oh, they're not even worth using then. We just lost Europa. Are you kidding me? It's because they're death stacking all their ships. I hate the AI. How do they do that sometimes? Screw it. Take that off. We're gonna merge them all into one. I want everyone to come over here. Take everything else off. But leave your clothes on. But everyone else, go and do that. Both packs. We're going to merge into one massive death stack then. It'll be a battle for the death stacks. Lost another destroyer. I can't imagine them keeping this up. Like, yeah, they're killing our ships. Yeah, we killed a few ships. Not, not nearly as many as we need to, though. But 77 divisions. They are slowly running out of fuel. The convoys are looking too good. And the biggest problem is that I can't build in Russia, or the Federative or Federation, which is just really, really bad, and America refuses to do anything. They, they're not even navally invading. Guys, America, you literally have one job. You're fighting down here. Congrats. Like, Australia's important and all, but not that important. And that's mostly just the British soldiers. America's pathetic in this campaign. Oh. Repair, 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 repair. Repair. 
Still sinking convoys, which is nice. Sack for the Japanese done again. You might as well use it since we're still literally fighting them right now. Um, there you go. Oh god, that sucks. Agent killed. That's unfortunate. America, why are you so dumb? This is normally American, is this Japanese? This is Wake? That's Wake. That's, that's normally uh, American. They're seriously refusing to do anything. Where is your Navy, America? We had the British Navy over here for a while, but... Really not seeing much around here. Really not seeing much. Hmm. We need to set up a dedicated office to take care of the fleet planning and affairs of the Admiralty. Similar to the organization of the old general staff. Pretty much. Pretty much. So what else are we building now? Dockyards, which are nice. Uh, we could always use more dockyards, of course, too. Build more military factories and more dockyards and infrastructure. That's always good to do. Kill these guys off. That'd be good. Uh, America. You put your divisions over here, but you're not using them. Why? Oh, did we get non-sish? Yes, please. War bonds. Go and do that, too. We've more than enough war support for that. Oh, what are you guys doing? Rommel. He did a good job. It's just that we can't invade. Oh, I hate this part. Actually, I wonder if these guys will give me um, military access through here. They might be able to, actually. Let's go and set these guys up, though. I do know that we're not attacking any port here, but there we go. Russia should be able to give me this, though. Ask for control of states. There you go. And, yes, good. Okay, so that's good. At least we got this area for now. Build ourselves up. Build the mares. I'll do even that, too. There you go. There you go. Alright, so that should make it a little bit easier for us, then. Yeah, so we're sinking more convoys, which is nice. Even though we're still losing planes and subs and such, so. Alright, so how is that fleet looking? Not bad, not bad. Make sure we do even more of our naval doctrine just in case. So it's important to do naval doctrine. It's ridiculously important actually to do your naval doctrine. Monstein falls ill, so be it. They put a lot of guys over here, wow. Still sinking some of their stuff. They're not looking too organized too, which is nice. Alright, so are you guys done repairing? No, you're not. God dang it. Jesus Christ, they take forever. Ah. Another operative. Cool. So with you, we're going to put you right where? There you go. You go up there. We know a lot about Japan. Woof. Probably more than we ever really wanted to. Any more? Oh, naval bombings? Oh, yeah. They have ships there. You can sink them. Construction 5. Let's go with more output then. Maybe we'll get some more resources eventually too. Nice. Sunk a sub. Let's grab some of this too. Air support you already would be very good. And our guys are winning pretty nicely. Uh, are you guys back here yet? No. More subs. That's alright. They're almost done repairing, I suppose. Yeah, they're almost done. Agent captured. That's not good. Let's go ahead and do this as well. Do that. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, do that. Operations keep, keep it on high. There you go. Alright, so I was looking over here. Do we have an air base? Yes, we do. That is very, very important. Super, super important. And naval bombers, too. Yes. I'm pretty sure I clicked it on higher. It's only May 1943, 
Alright, allies, seriously, don't put your ships in here. Seriously, please do not. And hopefully we'll be sinking a whole lot of stuff in here. A whole lot of good stuff. Okay, so the Philippines have been secured. That's good. The Philippine Sea, Philippines themselves. Oh, oh, they're, they're the carrier planes, so that's not good. Uh, you guys come over here, actually, and do that area. Thank you for serving. Goodbye. Not bad. So we're going to go and duplicate these guys. I don't really care that we're duplicating them, I'll be honest. Just because we're building up the airbase and it'll get bigger, 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 which would be nice. All right, so has the Navy done yet? No. God dang it. Uh, Durnitz, have you leveled up anymore? Uh, he really is an iron side, isn't he? Wow. Whoa, what's going on down here? Oh, there's a ship. I'm going to actually do, instead of uh, safety first, I'm going to go with search patterns. So we get 20% spotting speed for subs on, like, that's very, very good. So let's do that. Look at all the medals he's got. <sighs> Goeem, you big sadness, man. You are big sadness. My goodness. How much more do you need? Oh, it's like a heavy cruiser. Nice. I should have not rushed through that, but whatever. Two more subs gone. Hopefully Japan is starting to lose all its fuel. Uh, it's it's slowly getting worse and worse. The convoys have slowly getting worse and worse as well. They have 18 divisions left. Wow. The only thing that's protecting them is their navy. And they're 186 ships. Most because we're sinking probably a few destroyers and such. Plane-wise, they got plenty of manpower in the planes. Oh, boy. Oh, what the heck? What's going on here? Plenty of convoys to sink. Losses for us oh, is quite a few. 622,000. Well, we've killed off 1.7 million, so I'm feeling okay about that. I forgot about casualties. Uh, let's see. Alpine Legacy. Uh, the cold weather of the Alps can be deadly. We should cycle new recruits through the region in order to make them familiar with the cold weather and make them aware of the tactical usage of terrain. We have a large pool of Austrian and Swiss teachers. Those recruits that show promise will make good uh, get bugs, Jägers. Nice. Nice. Ooh, advanced sub stuff? Let's give you more sub stuff. I'm ready to invade, but let's see. We have no more planes to send. Um, I guess we could maybe do this group. Let's see what happens with them. Do some of that. Maybe. Maybe not. Hopefully. It, uh, if the Americans aren't, like, island hopping, or at least the Mexicans island hopping, that'd be kind of nice. No? They're literally doing nothing. <sighs> Americans, why are you so disappointing sometimes? Oh, what is this? Ah, they do have a fleet here. That's good to see. Oh, that's a good light cruiser. That's nice. What, uh, what's going on here? Fuel is middling. They have less than 400 convoys. That's the main important thing to do right now is destroy the convoys. 183 still. 44,000. Ah, nuclear bombs. We could probably nuke them into submission. Grab some of that. Sapper's fully done again. We lost an allied task force, which really sucks. Sunk an enemy destroyer. We sunk another enemy destroyer. And then an enemy convoy. Not bad. And you guys. I'm kind of scared to put him in the, the water. I'm going to do it anyways. Let's try it. Death stack. And if you see anything, you immediately try to kill them. Oh, we are hurting their carriers a little bit. That's not bad. We need more, though. As much as possible. I'm sorry this is running so long. It's just this is what has to happen. I'm not sure of any other faster way to kill off the Japanese except by doing this. Agent capture, god dang it. Didn't we have the other agent still captured too? Alpine Legacy. Uh, I don't want to do that stuff yet. Ooh, the giant is awakened. Uh, the U.S. finds themselves abroad in yet another world war. Let them know that they're not alone. They can always be sure of our help and assistance. This time, brothers won't fight brothers. Cool, let's go get this. Interrogation techniques. Yep, a little bit of lag. Oh, we still get. Finally! We got re revenge for them seeking our carrier. Manchurian Project. 100. Hey, we've sunk a few more ships. They're down eight ships, which is nice. I'm really more concentrated on their fuel and such, but let's still see. Concentrate industry. Let's grab some more of this. Extraction's always good to grab. Hey, look at that. Nice. Naval air operations are nice. Let's grab some more carrier organization and story efficiency. That's good. 
Anything down here? Another sub? Good luck. You're gonna need it. You're really, really gonna need it. So you guys are at one, two, three. Let's make it four now. And the Oda Line. The 84, 840 kilometer long Oda River along the Silesian heartland leads into the lower Baltic Sea. We should try to fortify it to secure Berlin. Poland, I swear we're not going to do anything bad against you. We're just putting forts here because, well, we can. Aluminum's not bad. Let's do some of this too. Who just wins? Pretty good. Have we sunk anything down here? If not, that's very, 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 very disappointing. Integration techniques, diplomatic training. We sunk another carrier. Great. What happened over here? We sunk a destroyer. We sunk another destroyer. Not bad. All right. That is making me feel a little better now. Better for support. Pretty good. And strategic bombing. Don't really know if we need that. Death of Tsar Boris III of Bulgaria. Goodbye, uh, Boris. I really don't want to invade these guys. I really don't. I'll be honest. I don't want to. <sighs> guys. Why isn't America doing anything? Uh, the fuel, they're getting a lot more fuel, actually. Convoys are staying the same. They made a few more divisions. 165. They th down to three carriers. That's good. I'm still worried about, like, ooh, destroyers. Heavy cruiser. Heavy cruiser. Two light cruisers. A destroyer. Followed by another light cruiser. Followed up with a destroyer. Followed up with uh, another destroyer. And then how about three more destroyers? And then how about two more destroyers? Nothing there. Is that it for now? Well, they're 151 ships now. That's good. And then followed up with a heavy cruiser. Nice. How to get technology done or something? Ah. Portable radios. Oh, wow. That, Jesus Christ, America. You lost that many destroy, uh, subs. 11. Uh, the Rhine Line. The Rhine Line once protected our ancestral Germans from Roman advances. It will now protect us from the communists and those who seek to harm us. With 1.230 kilometers, it is the longest river in Europe after the Danube. Well, really over 1,200 kilometers. Alright. I really don't want to send my guys out. I don't want them to die. But, we gotta send them out regardless. There you go, good luck. This is where things are going to get really bad for us. Probably East China Sea. You can go and duplicate that again. See if you can't do anything there. Nice. Any more fighters? Are we seriously out of fighters? We got carrier. Oh, we're out of fighters. Holy cow. That is actually probably a really big issue then. Lower this by 10. We don't need that much artillery. Lower this by another 5. There you go. Lower this by 10. Lower this by 10, 20, however many. Nice. That's not bad. That's not bad. Fighters. Let's increase the amount of fighters we have, though. Oh. Actually, oh. Ta American Task Force was sunk, which sucks. Five Japanese subs. Portable radios. Let's grab some of that. And better radar, because we can. Actually, having radar here, it really does help. It really does help. Oof. Oh, yeah, we should probably get some of this, too. And maybe some more of this. Good. So now we're feeling pretty good about this. Good. Not bad, not bad. Ship stuff. Oh, carrier's actually done. Just please don't die. What do you mean? Anything else? He's level 6 now, which is good, I guess. Anything else? He's halfway. Uh, he's half 61% of the way there becoming a superior tactician, which is not bad. You know what? America sucks right now, but you know what? As long as the Brits can do it, I'm kind of okay with it. Nice. We must have gotten that guy back, the Rhine Line. Let's go ahead and do the Danube Line. The Danube River connects Germany to the Black Sea. It's 2.415 thousand kilometers, miles, kilometers long and very wide and offers a good natural source of cover. Don't worry, allies. We're not going to do anything bad here, I swear. Did you guys lose or did you guys win? It's hard to tell sometimes. Special shipyard construction to ensure the fast, smooth construction speed. And maintenance of a larger battleship, we need a special dry dock with yards and infrastructure. No, that the constructions are concluded that we have the capacity to begin with the construction of the new battleship. Work faster no matter what the cost. Work steadily. Faster. No matter the cost. Nice. Oh, it's like another one. Great. Alright, so at this point, I think their navy is probably really hurting. God dang it. Another great. operative captured.
Ah, let's grab some of this too. That's nice. Alright. Well, at this point, they have 117 ships. They lost the majority of their carriers. They still have a few left, though. Which is not good for us. And, oh, people might be trying to invade 28 divisions. They have... Eh, they're slowly running out of convoys as well, but still. Right, at this point, you're sub. You're going to have to do this. You're going to do this. And do that. And then do this as well. Good luck. You're going to need it. Nice. So if you're doing this, son, you're going to come over here. And it's going to be dangerous. And then we'll probably start... Oh! Everyone started naval invading already. Join them. Americans landed. The British have landed. A lot of people have landed around here. I was waiting for someone else to invade besides us. So, yeah, the Americans landed a lot. You can't even take these islands. Well, maybe they, eh, maybe they didn't. Yeah, it's mostly the British doing work. Like they invaded Okinawa. Makes no sense, man. I swear to God, man. What, what, what's wrong with these people? Oh, no, you go right here. No, we lost the port. That's right, we'll get another one. Yeah, the UK is putting in work. Convoys are sunk. It's good. You guys stop doing that. Nice. And you guys come down here. And then we'll do something like this. Danube Line and Elba Line. The 1.094 kilometer thousand long mile Elbow River flows through the heartland of Germany and Bohemia. It was also connected to the two major cities, Berlin via the Spree River and to Prague by the Vlata Moldau River. Alright, cool. Good job, guys. Um, you guys could probably recommend this, you know, just in case. Alright, so we've lost not that many more, actually. We've killed off a few more 1.8 million Japanese soldiers. Uh, at this point, go and do this as well. There we go. Ship-wise... Hey, that's 100. That's good. That's pretty good. Task Japanese task force is gone. We lost two planes. Convoy goes bye-bye. Our subs probably go bye-bye. Oh, American destroyers go bye-bye. Japanese convoys go bye-bye. Japanese convoy. 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 Not bad. You actually have three carriers here. Wow. Special, aren't you? Excavation 5, and we'll do some of this, because we can. Even though we are slowly running out of fuel. Are you guys actually over here? Yes, you are. That's nice. I want you to force the attack. Give him no peace. Not bad. And you guys are... Oh, you're attacking down here, too. That's good. Yeah, I don't think I'll give America this. Um, you know what? I'll give it to the Brits. I'll give Japan to the British, and I'll take the rest of mainland China. Sounds like a plan to me. Hmm. And yeah, it's almost 1944. Not too bad. Come on, guys, keep going. Uh, Monstein, von Monstein, you've done a good job so far, so keep going. Oh, and there they go. Nice job. All right, so I'm not going to even do too much about this. Let's just take as much score as we can, and the Brits. You can have Japan, the main islands at least. There you go. Good for you, Russia. Where's that Russian flag? Is that it? No, that's it. You can have that. I'm gonna go take this just because we can. Japanese Micronesia. I don't care about that stuff. America, you can have that then. Even though they don't really deserve it. Alright, and the rest of this stuff. Um, well, I guess I can give this to the British, since they probably deserve it more. They can have the islands. I don't, I don't care about the islands. Uh, anywhere else along here? No, maybe not. Oh, that's okay. Uh, kind of, da, 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 da. I could do supervise it. Let's just do this. Makes it easier. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go to war with those guys, so that's all right. All right, not bad. Oh, no. Can we buy someone to the faction? Ireland. All right, they joined our faction, and I think it's time to go and do this. Maybe. 
China. Because it's properly, of course, German. And Korea, too. So we got the Republic of China. Um, I'm not sure why I own that part of Shanxi, but hey, I guess that's going to be the campaign, guys. Sorry it took so long to take out, uh, you know, Japan, but it is what it is. If you enjoyed this campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Recommend me more mods to try out, because I'm very interested in playing different mods and trying out different campaigns. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.